Hi there. I know um, a lot of people are in need of care, right? Like we can't go get massage or see our acupuncturists or physiotherapists or pain management clinics and get the care that we need. So I'm going to share some of the things that I'm doing to take care of me when I'm remembering to do it. It's hard to do. Um, and maybe they'll be of help to you. Um, I tend to get a lot of uh, stuff stored, especially in my right ear, on into TMJ, that joint here at the jaw, and, and it radiates down. And then it transfers into my left shoulder. And then sometimes a back rib goes out of place. So they're all related to each other and they all help. So what happens is, habitually, we sit, we stand, we always have our head forward over our spine and dipped forward, our arms forward, doing whatever we do with our hands and looking down at them. So we're going to try to counter some of that to reduce some neck pain. Place your head right on top of your spine. See if you can really find that place. And it's possibly further back than you think. You could sit next to a wall and really place the back of your head on the wall. And the next is to kind of tuck your chin under, sort of locking back. And this can offer you a stretch into the back of your neck. So just this tucking motion. So you're not clenching your jaw, you're not holding your breath, just conscious of your posture. Repeating it, doing it a number of times. Now, we're not supposed to be touching our face, but I've been home alone for almost two weeks, and uh, so I think I can touch my face at home. You could take your hand, and as you're drawing back, press back with your hand. So you're drawing back, tucking chin in, and drawing back. Or you could just use a couple of fingers, or just press back and release. So this is a really simple thing to do, to repeat many times. It may not feel relief immediately, but the doing of it helps to counter all of the habits that we're not conscious of when we're doing other things and our head ends up being forward of our spine. Another thing you can do is to take a towel, a little towel, a tea towel, a hand towel, a pillow slip, whatever you have, and um, roll it up. Make a nice tight roll. And you can place it around your neck. Get nice and snuggled in with it. And you're gonna draw down, you're gonna pull down. And the same motion, drawing your chin back in space pressing the back of your head into the wall, and then lifting your chin. Drawing down with the towel. You could even do this cross body. Sometimes it actually gives me a little more leverage. Release. Do some more. The tucking of the chin and the dipping back. Now this towel is snuggled close to the top of my shoulders and the low neck, but you could lift this. You could even take the edge and uh, sewing, we call this the selvage, but um, whatever that, that edge that doesn't stretch and use that around the base of your skull as a leveraging point. And you're gonna lift up, tuck your chin in, lift up and dunk your head back. Again, you could cross arms. You could go a little bit lower on your neck, draw the chin back and dunk back. A little bit lower. And then maybe come back to more support, drawing down, draw chin in and lift back. Now, it doesn't look like much, but already my neck feels lighter. You could do this sitting in a chair with um, your uh, thoracic spine, your rib cage against the back of a chair. 
with the room and support to draw back, to draw back. Checking in with the posture, doing this many times. Our heads are heavy. They weigh like eight to 12 pounds when they're in true alignment right on top of our spine. And every increment we take them forward adds exponential weight bearing to our spine. Uh, the equivalent of 60 pounds when we're looking down at our cell phones. So, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm doing a lot of that. So let's make some space. Shrug shoulders to ears and release away. So another version. So if you're, ha if I'm having pain or uh, I get like a, a fullness in this ear when things start to feel um, clogged and almost as like underwater sounds, uh, maybe popping and gurgling and uh, just a tightness in through here and then it can turn into headaches. So what I do is tuck chin in and then lean towards that side. Lean towards the acute side. And I might offer myself a couple of fingertips on the side of my head and press my head into my fingertips. What this is doing is helping my jaw on this side and my shoulder on this side. Come slowly back to center, tuck chin in. So if you don't have an acute side, you could do each side once, just keeping your neck free. If you have an acute side, do it first and then third. So we're gonna do the second side. Tuck chin in and dip head over and then offer a few fingertips. Press your head into your hand. That's the most important part. If you're not pressing your head into your hand, maybe don't put your hand there. Chin is still tucked. Slowly release and come back. And then a few more, drawing chin back and dipping back. So if you don't have a towel, another way to practice this, if you're just sitting at your desk or your makeshift desk or whatever you're doing, you can interlace your fingers around the back of your head, draw your chin back, and then dunk your head back. Press your head into your hands with a little resistance and then come back. And then press back and release. And you could repeat that a number of times. I already feel more spacious in my neck. And then you might feel things transferring into different places. So. We have to be very careful with the neck. You don't, we really don't want to force a crack or anything. There are nerves and um, arteries that are very delicate in this part of our bodies. And we don't want to put any undue pressure on them. It's a very mobile part of our spine and we tend to um, take advantage of that a little too much sometimes. So these things that I just offered you are so much better than yanking your neck and cracking it. You really, really need to be careful about that. I know that that popping sound can be quite gratifying, but I actually, I feel so much more relief just doing what, I don't know, what is it, five minutes of this stuff. So um, feel free to repeat it and keep going. We're gonna get into um, some ball work using a ball. Actually, whatever kind of ball you have, if you've got tennis balls, you can use those. Um, I usually have a whole set of yoga tune-up balls, but I loaned them out to another yoga teacher and I hope she is making use of them right now. Um, she's got an incredible space that I'm sure she's using them. So if you have a block, you could place a block on the, on the mat or the floor. And uh, if you don't have a block, you could stack a few books and then fold the end of your mat over or place a towel around them so that they don't slip around. If you want to use two balls, you can take two. And because I don't have my regular stuff, I'm gonna put two balls in a sock. and tie it off so that they stay together. Now this, the sock is a little bit stretchy. So it'll give me the opportunity to have a little bit more space between the balls or, um, or not. But so basically, the 
be this kind of grooved space in between where your neck spine can sit so that the two apexes of the of the, the round shape can get into the muscles on either side of your neck. And these places can hold quite a bit of tension. So we're gonna place the balls on top of the block and then come onto your back, have your feet into the floor. Maybe I'll um, go this way so that you'll be able to see me. So have the balls there. The sock also helps to keep them in place so they're not going to roll around. Now you don't even have to have this block here. You could just have the balls on the floor on the mat. Um, if you have a slippery floor, they might slide around. So a towel or a little carpet or a yoga mat or something. So just finding a place. You're never ever on your spine, but on either side. And just start to sway your knees a little bit and you'll feel the whole thing translating up into your neck. And I feel it through my shoulders and everything. Give your jaw a big stretch and relax it. You can kind of rock yourself. Arms can be anywhere that makes sense to you. If you've got something going on with your shoulder, you could take a little pillow or a towel or something Put your elbow there, supports the shoulder. Rocking, you could lean to one side, the other. Stay for a while. Lean your head, sway your legs. Rock. Lean your head to the other side. Stretch your jaw, reach your arms up. So you can do this without the block. And if the balls feel like they're rolling away, you can always fold the end of your mat over. And I find the knot from my sock uh, helps to stabilize them in place a little bit. So doing as much of that as you like, you're really getting into all the muscles on either side of the neck, right up into these pressure points under the ridge of your skull, the suboccipitals. And as you go, stretch, stretch your jaw. You could even bring your hands here and get into those masseter muscles, the cheek. These are the ones that bite, that clench. And get in behind here. This is a big spot for me. And also, right, just right inside your ear here, pressing forward. Oh, <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Uh, not encouraged necessarily, but we're, I'm not forcing it. It just happened naturally. And then the other side. I miss my osteopaths, my Chinese doctor, all my massage brands, oh, all my regular clients and students. So this is our way to look after ourselves here. Another thing you can do, get into the temporalis muscles. Give yourself a little uh, shampoo here. So these muscles are responsible for stretching the jaw, opening the jaw, so you can press in and up and stretch. So this is really great for TMJ, neck pain, headaches, 
um, shoulder pain. So there's a lot of nerves that run through here that innervate the arms. If like all this stuff, when I do it, I feel immediately a little bit better, even if there is a little discomfort in some of the pressure points. I'm a bit of a sucker for that. But if you're getting numbness or tingling or anything into your arm, stop. If it's making anything worse, don't do it. We're not forcing, we're not shoving, we're being kind as much as we can. So um, take some time with this. And if you have questions, please feel free to message me because I am here. This is what I'm doing right now. So um, let's play. I'm going to make some more videos. And um, if you have requests or anything that you'd like to focus on, just let me know and um, take care of you. Namaste.